To master surface modeling, you must understand what tangency means and how tangency has a massive impact on your surface quality. So let's check that out. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, you will get a mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there is a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity so check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial so in this module we will check out what is tangency what is not tangent you just absolutely need to learn that for surface modeling or just at least understand and it's pretty uh, simple actually so again, open this file below this video and open this tangency uh, file. We have four instances here, so or basically two. So we have always the same circles and we have the four instances. So I just want to show you with two different examples what is tangent and non-tangent. So if we go to the first two and we go to the front view, and we just create a line, a straight line. So just take this line here. We want to connect those circles in a smooth way. Again, what does actually smooth mean? We will see in a second. In the next part, you will even, it will be even more clear. But so take the line. And if you create anywhere the connection, so let's say here, right? You can drag it uh, to this circle and you see so here the first one is non-tangent so let's just assume mm, yeah uh, let's do different so let's create a line and let's try to connect them smoothly so let's just create random a line somewhere here and now just the second one mm, yeah somewhere here maybe okay and just do the same at the bottom doesn't matter at the bottom so just a random uh, connection here and just somewhere here. So you see nothing was uh, tangent, but we closed now those um, circles. But the thing is, if you press now three face mode and with shift you select them and you drag them out and right click. And if you go to the red mode and here show edges, so you toggle those edges, by the way, go to press F and search for toggle and here viewport toggle edges, put it on a shortcut because it's, you will always use this and I just have it on shift E. So just right click assign shortcut and shift E. So bam, shift E, you see, we can just uh, quickly toggle and you see, okay, actually this one at the top looks very smooth, right? You see, but here this bottom one, because we just snapped it randomly somewhere, you have this ugly edge here. So let me just go a few steps back and just connect those. So it's even more clear if we just connect it somewhere here and here. So again, no tangency, we just connect those circles. And again, press three and extrude those. Now you see it's even more clear. This is not smooth. This doesn't look like one surface, okay? So this is with a straight line and non-tangent. So let's take again the same straight line, but this time create a tangent uh, connection. For that, plasticity makes it very easy. If we just snap somewhere, so even if we snap here, right? Now you can go along the other circle and you see it sometimes snap somewhere. And at some point you see it's 10 slash 10. So tangent to tangent. Even if we start here, right? But if we go here 10, bam, you see it snaps here to this point and here to this point. So let's just go at the bottom again. 
just go somewhere. The first part is not uh, first point is not important, and just at the bottom, just somewhere because we will not see it anyway. So the top is important, but press three again, select shift, and here just drag that out, and bam, you see, it looks beautifully like one surface. We have nice smooth connection here, right? So this was very different from this one here, right? So yeah, you see the difference, okay? Now, so tangent just means, again, I'm not a professor in mathematics, right? So I will not explain it to you in the best possible way. But if we take the circle, right? So the circle has this kind of rounding. But at some point, so at this point here, this curve, uh, the circle would go back into this direction. So it's at this point. So here you see it rises up, but at this point, it would go down again. And if we create on exactly this point, so we have here this curvature from the circle and exactly at this point before it starts to change the direction if we drag out a um, line a curve then this curve will be exactly tangent to this um, curvature here so the same here this line goes to this point so this mathematical point and then it's instantly getting with the exact angle and curvature into our uh, um, uh, circle here because otherwise so let's just assume we have this curvature so we have this curvature curvature and it goes till this point so let me make it yellow so you see it better so somewhere here and here I want now to connect with a, a straight line so you just see here we have then a break. So we have then like an angle here, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's go to the next instances. And now we can do the same, not just for straight lines, but also for curves. And here I see it, people constantly make this little mistake here. So if we want to connect those circle cells with a tangent curve, you don't take this spline curve because even so if you take the spline curve and even if you drag that um, so let me spline curve let's take it here so you see it's tangent right so we are dragging a tangent and but now this point is tangent yes but you see here we are losing the real tangency at the connection point so this is the spline curve it's you are you can use it for some instances in surface modeling, but most of the time you want here this control point curve. So it's a Bezier curve, but it's called here uh, control point curve. You can also access. So if you again, uh, let's use the normal spline curve and just snap it somewhere here and just drag it out in tangent. And you see again, it's the same, but you can also press tap and you switch between the control point curve and the spline curve, right? And you see again, so if you press tap, bam, this point always stay tangents, but now with the control point curve, so this is this one, so just if someone is confused, so here, tangent, and you see this point here, it's not moving because it will always stay tangent because our first point is tangent, so that, just means so let's go back again so control point curve snap somewhere here draw drag the first tangent point out and now we can also snap here to the tangent so maybe let's just create another point just somewhere just to have a nice rounding and now let's search where it will say tangent bam tangent uh, just connect at the bottom because we will not see it, so it's not important. But here we have a curve, and at this point it's tangent, and at this point, and actually I did it on the non-tangent example, so so let's do it this time the other way around. So yeah, that, that, 
just that you're not confused. So in this example, we will start with the tangent curve, right? So I, I think most of you understand that. So we have the curve, it's tangent here, it's tangent here. And if we again with face mode, select them all and extrude them, bam, look how beautiful this is, right? <clears throat> we have a nice, organic, smooth, round face and surface. Beautiful. So the same with non-tangent. So for you, it's maybe the other way around. But again, if we take the same control point curve and we would guess it to create tangent. So for example, we start somewhere here. So we start somewhere here and let's just not snap to tangent. So we just guess, right? So look, maybe this one looks even tangent, right? So it looks kind of tangent but we didn't snap to tangent. So the same here. And now let's guess. So let's say, for example, we think the tangency will be somewhere here without snapping. And again, the bottom we will just uh, connect. Doesn't matter how. And again, press three, select that, drag that out and bam. You see, because again, we did not snap at the mathematical point where we have true tangency, it instantly shows in our surface smoothness and quality that we don't have a nice smooth connection as here, right? So you see guys, it's very important to create tangent connections always. If we work with curves and surfaces later, of course we will use it in, in a more real world example. And we always, or most of the time, don't want non-tangency because this will instantly show in our surface quality, right? Okay. And now in the next module, we will combine those two things. So the G1, G2, G3 and G0 and tangency. Now we will find out what that really means in a real world example and why G1 and G2 and G3 is so ex uh, important and why G2 is literally better than G1 and G3 is better than G2 and what means smoothness and why tangency is so important. So in the next module, let's dive into that. And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.